My name is Naomi Sayer, and I'm an assistant professor of research in the Department of Neurosurgery. My research interest is how the brain recovers from damage, whether it's due to stroke or traumatic brain injury. Lipids are one of the primary building blocks of the cell. So if you think of a house, lipids are what comprise the walls of, of the house. And so you can imagine if the brain is damaged and the walls of those cells are damaged, you're gonna really affect how the brain can recover. If we understand the processes that occur after damage, we can help keep those cells intact. If it were translated into medicine, it is more likely to help people who have had concussions or people who have suffered from a stroke. And importantly, it's gonna affect people that um, maybe had a concussion or a stroke far into their past, right? And so as they age, they might be more likely to suffer long-term consequences of that earlier brain injury. And so my research is really focused on helping those people and limiting uh, any of the bad things that happen over time with people with a history of brain damage. A target group of people is definitely athletes. So uh, many of us know that athletes are significantly more prone to getting multiple concussions just as a result of their playing sports. And I think we're more and more appreciating that uh, with too many concussions comes the possibility of something called chronic traumatic encephalopathy, which is, is a neurodegenerative disease that um, is, is a direct consequence of all of those uh, earlier multiple brain damage events. I think one really great advantage of doing research here at UT Health is that we have a very large, thriving, and excellent neuroscience community. Uh, probably one of the best localized neuroscience communities in the country, I would say. And so that has really enabled me to uh, utilize a diverse expertise when I'm doing my own research. And as a young investigator, that is invaluable. Research is hard and, and by its very nature, there ends up being a good amount of failure in research because we're operating at the edge of what is understood. And so to be able to shepherd a trainee through that process and help them recover from, you know, perhaps an experimental failure and see them come to the other side and be successful and actually learn something is, to me, one of the, the best parts of my job.